Thank you. Right now, a woman is in critical condition after a dangerous day on the water along the Intracoastal Waterway. She's one of nearly a dozen people who were on a 21 foot boat when it overturned. Local 10's Hatzel Vala following the latest on this rescue. And Hatzel, why were there so many people on this boat in the first place? Well, Victor, that's exactly what investigators are trying to figure out. But I can tell you two new things that we have learned this afternoon. One, according to neighbors, that boat was docked right behind me at this house. We're also learning that it was registered to Misael Gonzalez, who just turned 50 years old a couple days ago. That boat, small in size, packed with 14 people, did not make it too far down this canal. Several neighbors tell us this is the home where the boat was once docked. You can see the boat lift still in a position, expecting the boat to return. It never did. Down the canal, our cameras were there when the boat was pulled slowly back on its right side. Then fish and wildlife towed it away. Oh my God, they are drowning. Oh my God. Hear the fear in the voice as people hang on for dear life after this small boat capsizes Sunday. Firefighters say a 61 year old woman went into cardiac arrest after getting trapped under the boat. Once out of the water, crews worked quickly to revive her in a neighboring backyard before being taken to North Shore Hospital. They were trying to um, resuscitate her, I believe. And um, at that point, the police came and pulled us all out. Firefighters say 14 people were on the small 21 foot boat when it capsized near Northeast 87th Street and the intercoastal. Those on board were not wearing life vests. Everybody's at the front of the boat. The boat is like that, the water is going in. I saw these people in the water hanging on to a capsized boat with no way to get out. So Fish and Wildlife this afternoon confirming that the woman indeed was not 61 years old. Instead, she was 80 years old. She is the one that was taken to North Shore Hospital. Her name uh, is Lydia Tapanis. And as of last check, she remains in critical condition. But now reporting live in Miami, Hatsovella, Local 10 News. Morning.